Mukherjee. I also caught up with John de Villiers, who's Senior Vice President, Energy Industries in India and Middle East at ABB. He spoke to us about companies bet on India. Let's listen in. What is the kind of spend that you're looking, especially for a market like India, which is, as has been talked about in the last couple of days, is the fastest growing and the demand also expected to pick up in double digit percentage? Okay. Well, we're investing to make sure we have a local team that is as strong as possible and that covers all the different segments where we see opportunities. So our investments in manpower and then the business will come. You know, so um, yeah, serving our customers to the best of our ability. The other point that is being strongly talked about is collaborations. There are investments in downstream and upstream companies yes. as well. How are you working your portfolio around in India? I think partnerships are absolutely essential. There's no single company that has all the solutions in, 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 in their own power. So working with customers in a collaborative way, and we find with the energy transition, earlier engagement, really shaping projects, um, simulating, modeling to prove the viability of the projects are essential. Mm -hmm. And then also finding partners in the market that can join us, that we can collaborate with, that can complete the solution, complete the offering to our customers. Um, so there we're also active globally and also here in India. Mm. Uh, you talked about on how you are increasing your manpower here in India. And uh, uh, what has been the growth that ABB has seen within India in sense of customer as a base and your spend itself? And how are you envisioning the next couple of years? Well, the, I mean, we're a company that supplies automation and electrification of industrial assets, including energy production assets. And these plants can't operate without automation and electrical. So we are key to enabling energy infrastructure. And what's really shifted is the ability with digital and data to draw insights and to add additional value to plan better and to work better. And that's relevant across all the segments. So whether you're talking liquid natural gas, LNG, or you're talking conventional power, hydrocarbon power, or you're talking hydrogen or offshore wind or solar. Um, so with energy management solutions, um, there are a whole range, asset performance management solutions, there are ways in which we can support our customers. What is it that clients want, one, in India, and two, how have you seen the investments pan out? I think, I mean, what customers want is, if the minute we enter into agreement or a partnership with a customer, we are tied together for 15, 20, 30, 40 years. So service is absolutely essential, and that's what we need to make sure is we have the capability and the components to support this infrastructure. So it's not just the capital sale. It is the long-term partnership in terms of the service. Mm -hmm. And then in terms of, I mean, different customers move at different pace, have, choose their focus, and we, we are active across the entire spectrum of energy provision. So we serve customers. If they have a very aggressive transition towards green and renewable, mm -hmm. we will serve that and enable that. Mm -hmm. If it's a customer that are going to serve us with the energy of today that we really need to, to continue to grow the economy, we're fine to do that too. So have you seen that categorization more aggressive move into renewable coming for India? There are definitely moves. I think the first move is obviously the move to gas. Mm -hmm. So we've been very active in enabling the gas infrastructure, gas distribution, which mm -hmm. is a very positive step. Mm -hmm. But of course, there are customers that are out there and already looking at green hydrogen. At, uh, solar has been a, a major source of uh, growth for the energy supply, the primary energy supply in India. So on both of those fronts, we're active. Mm -hmm. How do you look at uh, the way the states are operating right now? Where do you see more presence, more uh, uh, spend come in? How do you look at the Indian government policies in ensuring that? Well, in terms of the government policies, very pragmatic. Um, and I th what helps us is clarity. So I think, again, at this event with uh, PM Modi's address, it was very clear where the country is going and how this transition is going to take place. Mm -hmm. So that helps us to deploy the, the solutions that are relevant for today and that enable the future. Mm -hmm. And across the states, I think it's the same kind of diversification that you see. So there are some states that play to their natural advantages in terms of the energy space, and that's what we support and that's how we follow. All right, that's ABB telling us on how India is inching fast towards energy transition there.